We can classify assets and liabilities into operating assets and liabilities and non-operating assets and liabilities. Operating means used directly in operations. Non-operating means used indirectly in operations. In order to be able to classify each item, either operating or non-operating, we use a simple criteria. Operating means there is no return or interest, which means you do not receive interest nor pay interest. Non-operating means there is a return or interest, which means you pay interest or interest pays you. We know that the asset side refers to investment. Therefore, non-operating assets are also called investing. The liability side refers to financing. Therefore, non-operating liabilities are also called financing. Let's apply this concept to the current assets and current liabilities as an example. We have current asset items of cash, marketable securities, accounts receivables, inventory, and other current assets. We have current liability items of accounts payables, notes payables, short-term loans, current portion of long-term debt, and other current liabilities. Now we will classify each item as either operating or non-operating. Cash, the company does not receive any interest in the cash that we keep in a company safe. Therefore, cash is operating current asset. Marketable securities mean the company have a short-term deposit or buy short-term bonds. The company receives interest on the deposit and the company receives a coupon on short-term bonds. Therefore, marketable securities are non-operating current assets. Accounts receivable means the company sells a product on credit and collects the money in the future. The company does not receive any interest in accounts receivables. Therefore, accounts receivables is an operating current asset. Inventory means the company has raw materials or works in progress or finished goods. The company does not receive any interest on the inventory. Therefore, inventory is an operating current asset. Other current assets mean the company owns short-term assets used in operations that have a small value and that's why we gather them together under other current assets. The company does not receive any interest in current assets. Therefore, other current assets includes operating current assets. Accounts payable means the company buys raw material on credit and will pay the money in the future. The company does not pay any interest on accounts payables. Therefore, accounts payables is an operating current liability. Notes payables means the company borrows from another company. The company pays interest on notes payables, therefore notes payables is a non-operating current liability. Short-term loans means the company borrows a short-term loan from a bank. The company pays interest on short-term loan, therefore the short-term loans is a non-operating current liability. The current portion of long-term debt means the company borrows a long-term loan from a bank. The first part that needs to be paid to the bank within a year is called the current portion of the long-term debt. The company pays interest on the current portion of the long-term debt. Therefore, the current position of the long-term debt is a non-operating current liability. Other current liabilities mean the company owes short-term liabilities used in operations that have a small value, and that's why we gather them together under other current liabilities. The company does not pay any interest in other current liabilities. Therefore, other current liabilities is operating current liabilities. Further, we can estimate net working capital as current assets minus current liabilities. We include all items of current assets and current liabilities. Then, we can estimate net operating working capital as operating current assets minus operating current liabilities. Operating current assets include cash, accounts receivables, inventory and other current assets. Operating current liabilities include accounts payables and other current liabilities. Please note, if we estimate the statement of cash flows or free cash flow, we do not include cash as we are estimating the amount of cash. That's why in that case, we also call net operating working capital as non-cash working capital. Finally, to estimate the change in net operating working capital, we compute net operating working capital in a certain year, such as 2019, minus net operating working capital in the previous year, such as 2018.